Selena Gomez is standing her ground about her recent TikTok. The only murders in the building actress weighed in after a commenter questioned her latest post on the platform. In the video, Selena shared a cheeky reaction to Dr. Don Bentel's definition of what heavy drinking is. The CDC defines heavy drinking as 15 or more drinks a week for men and eight or more drinks per week for women. While the pop star captioned the post, it's a joke. One TikTok user still seemed concerned in light of her past kidney transplant. They wrote in a insulated comment, so one of your best friends gives you her kidney and you continue to drink excessively. Damn, Selena. The Wolf songstress noticed the remark and clapped back. Writing before the comment was deleted, it was a joke. <laughs> Selena received a kidney transplant for her lupus back in 2017, and the organ came from actress Francia Raisa. On World Kidney Day earlier this year, the Gronish actress shared her transplant experience on Twitter. Sal reshared it and wrote, Thank you for blessing me. I am forever grateful to you. Back in 2018, six months after the operation, Access Hollywood talked to Francia about how she was feeling. I just went in for my six month follow up and they said everything is like, my labs are more than perfect. Um, I still suffer a little from fatigue, but that's like normal. You know, my body's still acclimating. But other than that, I feel really, really great. The lifestyle change I had to do, I actually coincidentally started doing it three years ago. So it wasn't a huge difference. Tell a little bit of that. We we're talking in the commercial break. It's truly yeah. remarkable, sort of maybe God's plan all along for you. Yeah. So three years ago, you kind of just. So, I mean, just like anyone, I love pizza. I love burgers. I love wings. I hated vegetables hated vegetables and about three years ago my palate changed and I was like I really want vegetables and I want fish and I want to drink more water and I actually don't really like alcohol so I don't drink that much. I started drinking about two to three liters of water a day and I started eating a lot healthier. Three years later I go through these changes and the doctor says hey you're gonna have to drink two to three liters of water a day. You need to eat more vegetables. You can't drink that much and so it was just the lifestyle change wasn't hard for me. So. When I found out of a, I was a match, I already knew that three years prior, God had already prepped me for that moment. Let's talk about being a match, though, because that is so rare. Yeah. I mean, what are the odds of being a match to your best friend? I mean, they went to family first, I imagine. Yeah, uh, they were really encouraging family. Like, even when I came in to meet the doctors, they were like, do you have a family member, anything? It's a slim to none chance. It doesn't happen, especially at our age. You know, many people are looking for a match, and they can't find it, and family... Health history is a huge part of it, and you know I, I think that runs in her dad's side of the family, so which is why a family couldn't be a part of it. You said when you offered it to her, said it, you had an inkling that it was going to be a perfect match. And a yeah, perfect fit. I had a feeling, especially when we found out that we both were the same blood type. Like I just knew, so I was, I especially because I had already prepared myself three years prior, not even knowing health-wise that I was going to do that. And she even said, like I know you're the healthiest, per you're the healthiest person I know, and I exercise like <laughs> yeah. every day, so. Again, that started three years prior to the Hallie I know it's a big, your, your, yeah. your wagon to this one right here, right here. <laughs> yes. You got to be your best friend.